2024 is projected to be the most active hurricane season with uh, as many as 15 named hurricanes and the potential for six or seven major hurricanes. In the event that Alabama experienced a catastrophic type hurricane, we would expect the first 24 to 48 hours to have to conduct high water evacuation in many areas along the coast. Uh, the purpose of today's exercise was to give them an orientation to operating in the high water environments and conducting basic evacuation of uh, personnel in that environment. Due to our location, the history of hurricanes in our area, it's been good to have some real world training. Our unit would have always helped out, but now actually having the knowledge and training behind us. Just getting in the water and being able to actually go through scenarios, having actual scenarios of putting injured people into rafts and getting them out and actually evacuating them from a location to a safer location. Having that real world firsthand knowledge of do that hands on. One of the great things about the Guard is our dual status mission. You always get at least two people with one soldier. If I were communicating to folks outside the National Guard, that's what I would tell them. You know, they see the uniform and they see the soldier, but what they also get is that person who brings that civilian experience and now a soldier that is trained in a non-standard mission uh, in defense support of civil authorities. The biggest thing that we communicate to, to the citizens of Alabama and to the citizens of the nation is the National Guard is always ready and always there. And this is just another example of our soldiers training on something that is outside of what normal unit training would be to ensure that our soldiers are always ready and always there in the times when uh, the governor and the citizens of the state need us to be ready.